I didn't, I didn't quite see you. My name's Matt. Welcome to my Land Rover. I sleep in it, I cook in it, I stealth camp in it all over BC. Figure I'd give you a tour. It ain't perfect, but it works. All right, so it's a 2008 Land Rover LR2, manufactured in England, discontinued in 2015. I love it, it works great. All wheel drive, inline, six cylinder, V6. She gets me places. We're looking at a six speed automatic transmission. She's smooth, never had any problems with it. I love it, it's comfy, rides over bumps like nothing. We're looking at over 20 inches that this thing can ride through the water without having any issues. 8.3 inches of ground clearance. We got 29 and 30 degree angles of approach and departure. She gets me everywhere, anywhere and everywhere. The driving systems in this vehicle, it's pretty cool. There's different modes, one for snow, gravel, sand, and I usually pop that into mud and dirt because that's a lot what's around here in BC. It allows me to rev higher, go up steep hills. I got hill descent control on this as well. That is amazing, I love it. This vehicle is very capable. I'm sure many of you who do have Land Rovers would agree. These things are amazing, you don't see them as often. In British Columbia, see a lot of Toyota 4Runners, Tacomas, things of that nature. There's a reason why these were huge in UK. They're amazing. I absolutely love it. Can't forget a wicked Alpine surround sound system. So I can be bumping that Mariah Carey, be in my head and love every minute of it. We're rocking Toyota Tire Open Country AT3s. I absolutely love them. Haven't had any problems. Go through mud, snow, rain, pretty much anything you can throw at it. I love them. Size 18s. I recently got myself a roof rack. Pretty well the exact same specs as the OEM ones, except they're several hundred dollars cheaper. Got them off eBay. Don't have a uh, roof box on it yet, but I will eventually. So I can store a lot of my stuff that I get a little bit crammed up inside sometimes, but she works. Moving around to the back. The main foyer, if you want to say. I love it, it's beautiful. This is what I would call my bed frame. I don't think there's a single straight cut on it, but uh, it works, it's not perfect. I want something that I could go out, test, see what I like, see what I don't like. I've gone out with this thing probably 10 times now, and I definitely have a few uh, ideas for my next build to make it absolutely perfect, and just the way I like it. Down here, I've got a little bit of storage, camping chair, I got random packet of brown sugar oatmeal, great for smoothies. There's a little hint. Got the front windshield window cover. Some baby wipes. If you camp in your car or you sleep in your van, you know that baby wipes are an essential. They work great. Just make sure you dispose of them properly. Got an ax, Fiskars X15. I love it, it's perfect. I've cut lots of wood and trees with this. Dead trees, of course. Underneath here, I keep a little bit of fishing tackle, fishing rod. Every time I go camping, I know I'm gonna be fishing. It's an essential. Something I absolutely love about these seats, this front driver's seat, I can actually do programmable positioning. And I use number three, that's my camping mode. And I press that, everything moves all the way forward so that I can move my bed, I can flop it down, and there's enough room for my mattress, sleeping area, it's perfect. I don't have to crank anything, I just... A few moments later. And within five seconds, boom, she's in camper mode. Passenger seat is a little different, although it is electric, I just have to do it with my fingers. Within a few seconds, ready to put the bed down and put her into sleep mode. Whenever I get to my camping spot, that is what I do. I put the seats forward. Now that my front seats are moved all the way forward, I have a bit of a brace here. It ain't perfect, but it works. Trying this kind of tester build for the first month or two. I built a simple little bracket. This little piece of wood here is on piano hinges. Now there's plenty of room 
enough support for me to then move my mattress and get her into uh, the mode that I want to sleep in. When it's just me camping, I use these two pieces of mattress. When it's my girlfriend and I, there's a third piece that it actually came with. I just decided to cut it up so that I can have these two when I'm solo camping and a little bit more storage until I get the roof box. When I'm sleeping at night, you know, before going to bed, if it's a nice clear night, I can actually just look up out of this uh, beautiful skylight that I have. It also allows me for great ventilation with air. I just crack it open a little bit. If I don't want any bugs in, I just close that and it works absolutely amazingly. You know, my head's right here. This one can crack open. Everything that I'm expelling is just going out right out the window and I also get fresh, fresh air because we all know it's very important to be having fresh air in your vehicle. You want the windows cracked. And before, you know, I would crack my windows, these side windows, but a lot of times here in BC it rains quite a bit. So I was having issues with water coming in, which is then why I ended up purchasing these rain guards off of eBay. Fit absolutely perfect. I can, I, well, I'd buy them again. I highly recommend them. Perhaps I'll have the uh, link in the description for these guys. They're about $50. Now I can crack my window a bit, let air in and out. Water then just repels off of it. And also people can't tell that my window is indeed cracked open. So it's just that much more stealth. So this is what it looks like when I'm sleeping. I love it, it's comfy. Some of the best sleeps, if not the best sleeps I've ever had when I'm out in nature, out camping, sleeping in a vehicle, sleeping in a tent. If you agree, hit that like button. Maybe subscribe hmm? if you want. If not, it's all good. I appreciate you either way. How are you gonna cook your food, man? Let me show you. <laughs> Chef Matthew, right at you. This is actually where I do all of my cooking, right off the back of my vehicle. Lots of room. You know all the steam and whatever else can escape eventually I do want to have a nice slide out here so that I can just place my cooking area right on that and then it's completely in free air and absolutely no condensation is actually get inside the vehicle but for now it works my kitchen if you will I just keep everything in this bin here I've got cast iron pan I've got my Martin grill I've got a jet boil minimo absolutely love this thing this is good for small little quick meals. The Martin Grill is when I want to cook up something real fancy. Delicious AAA Wagyu steak, you know. Simple stuff like that. A little first aid kit, that's usually important. I'm done cooking and how fast it is. I put my bed back in order. Boom. Just like that. Just like that. I'm ready for snoozy snooze. So behind my passenger seat, there is a little bit of storage as well as behind the driver's seat. And this is where I keep my tackle box. I keep a little bit of water, just the little things that don't quite have a nice storage, little spot to live. This is where I put them. I want to get a big enough external battery pack as possible. So I'm definitely going to save up for the Jackery. But for now, just to power my GoPro, and charge my phone so I'm not running off of the battery of the vehicle when I'm sleeping. I just have this 20,800 milliamp external battery pack. This thing actually works really well. It's by Mophie. I love it. Until I get something bigger, this will have to do. I'm not powering anything crazy. No, no laptop. This is all I need for what I do. I don't live in this vehicle full time. I'm just a weekend and sometimes during the week adventurer. I think it's important to show you guys for privacy, what I do, I have custom built window covers that I made myself with a little bit of Reflectix, some black cloth, and I just stick those to the inside of my windows. I could be in the middle of the city, houses that I've camped in front of, but I'm completely black out and nobody can tell. And I feel that privacy. I feel safe inside my vehicle, not thinking other people can see inside. It just works. So I'll show you guys that. I made some for every single window. The Reflectix is on the inside, the black is on the outside. When these are in, you can't see anything. I love it. Highly recommend. Maybe you want to check out one of my older videos. I'll show you how to make these. Simple and they work. What I do with these, I just stick them in like that. And 
and voila people from the outside can't see in i don't need to see out so it works at night and keeps me stealth and keeps the heat in or the cool in during the summer days highly recommend it's morning after camping i'm ready to go back home it's relatively easy to uh, put this back into driving mode i would say it takes under 30 seconds wrestle it a little bit I then push this back a little bit so that flip this back up so now my seats can go all the way back one is my driver's position then do the same to my passenger seat except I gotta do it by hand not complaining I can usually clean things up a little bit fold everything up nicely. If I stack the mattresses, I still have a great view. No blind spots, I'm not covering up anything. Drive on out with ease. That, ladies and gentlemen, is my 2008 Land Rover LR2 sleeping camper. If you're curious, you have a different vehicle, you'd be surprised what you can do. A couple of folded seats, you can get yourself sleeping, camping, outside almost anywhere. Thanks to those who I've annoyed to make sure to like and comment. If you've made it this far, appreciate you. Remember, get outside, go have fun, go camping. You don't need a luxurious build. Fold down some seats and you'd be surprised what you can do with your vehicle. Thank you very much. Till next time, this is life. Peace out.